Hello guys, welcome with me John today on this step-by-step -step tutorial guide to get you started set up on Royal Q. Now, if you fancy Royal Q's results, it means you want to look into the project, you want to get started. And uh, over my years of trading the crypto market, I haven't seen anything unique as this amazing trading robot that takes advantage of the volatility of the crypto market, buying low, selling high, bringing you the difference, which is profit instantly added back to your Binance exchange, be it Coinbase Pro or Hobby Wallet. Now, over the course of you watching my channel, you will be thinking, do you have two accounts? The answer is yes. Okay, you all know I have a bigger account where this amazing trading robot has earned me a profit of over $6,500 in just five months. Now, this is a smaller account, which I normally use for tutorial purposes, okay? So don't be confused. So this video, if you fancy results like these, I welcome to Royal Q crypto auto bots that automate your trade and take the emotions or your emotions out of the equation. Now, this video will provide you with all the steps to get you started and set up within minutes. The video also comes with a time code. It means you can skip the video to the part which you want the most. That is very important. Now, step one is you will need a verified Binance, verified Hobby, or verified Coinbase Pro. Okay, so you can see these three different exchanges. So you need one of them, or you can even use the three to connect to the same Royal Q account. So you don't need to uh, activate the three different account or the three different exchanges. You just need to activate one Royal Q account and you can connect the both exchanges. So the very first step is you want to check with your exchange, be it Binance, Coinbase Pro or Hobby, if you are at least intermediate verified. Again, if you don't have a Binance wallet account, I'll leave a link in the description and the top comment of this video. When you use my link to sign up for Binance, do your KYC and so on and so forth, you are going to be getting discount uh, when it comes to trading fees on Binance because you use my link. So you just want to click on this little avatar right here for Binance users. And you can see that this wallet is at least intermediate verified because we will need a verified exchange account to be able to do the API binding. It means to connect our exchange with Royal Q. So guys, assuming you have successfully verified your exchange, be it Binance, Coinbase Pro, or Hobby Wallet, congratulations. The next part is for you to deposit USDT, okay? Now, our base currency is USDT. The robot uses USDT to trade against other crypto assets, bringing back to us profit in USDT, instantly added back to our spot uh, wallet on either exchanges you are using. For my case, I am on Binance, okay? So we need a minimum of 240 US dollars deposited in your spot wallet. Now, this $240 is just the minimum. You can do more after you have activated or subscribed your board, okay? Now, this $240, $140 will be transferred to Royal Q, okay? To Royal Q application. So that is the only money you are transferring to Royal Q. And I am going to be showing you how to do that. Okay. Now, $100 will be left in your Binance Spot wallet, which will be your trading funds. Okay. So you see how unique it is. Your trading funds is in your own, own exchange, in your own control. The only money you transferred out is uh, $140 for the robot activation for one year. And $20 will be left in your Rear Q application app to cover for tiny little unrealized uh, gas fees okay so if you don't currently have 
USDT, you can directly purchase on your exchange with your debit or credit card. You can also use the P2P uh, trading where you can directly purchase from uh, local sellers in your locality. Another thing you can do is you can directly deposit when you go to your spot wallet. You click deposit, you select USDT. Now you want to use uh, TRC20, which, which will be the network. You want to either scan the code or you want to copy the code, go to your external wallet and do the transaction and congratulations, you have USDT here. So guys, your exchange is verified and now you have USDT sitting on your spot wallet. Congratulations. The next step of this video, you need a Royal Q account. So if I am the first person who told you about Royal Q, then you want to use my code or my referrals link, which you will find in the description and the top comment of this video. If I am not, then go back to that person who told you about Royal Q and ask for their link or for their Royal Q referrals code. Okay. So there are two ways to go about it. You want to go to either Play Store or App Store and download the application first. Once you download the application, click to open open. So once you land on this page, you just want to click on register now. So on this page, you can, uh, you have to select your country, which is your location, enter your email. It should be a working email because you will be receiving verification code uh, through this email. Now enter your password, repeat the password, please. I recommend you writing it down somewhere so you don't forget. Now click here to receive a verification, a one-time OTP code to this email you just entered. Now copy that code and paste it here. Again, this uh, section is for you to input the referrals code of the person who referred you to Royal Q. In my case, it will be uh, C L U N U. Okay. So once you enter the referrals code, you just want to click register. So now you have your login details, your email and your password. So now you can then log into your RayaQ account or application by entering the email address and your password and click login. Now, the second way to sign up is you want to look, uh, go to the description and the top comment of this video, you are going to see my RayaQ link, or you want to ask the link of the person who referred you to RayaQ. It's almost the same thing. When you click on the link, you want to select your browser. Now it takes you to this page. Now you just want to do the same thing, enter your email and then uh, click to send a verification code, input the code here, enter your password, repeat that password again. Now when you are signing in with the link, uh, now the referrals code or invitation code by default is already entered for you. So you just want to click on register. So once you register, you can then go and download the application. So either way is fine, guys. So you have made it so far to this point of these are step by step tutorials. Congratulations, guys. So at this point, we are going to be depositing our funds to Royal Q application, okay, or the robot. So you have already downloaded the application. You have logged in. It's going to be looking like these, guys. So what you want to do, you just want to click on mine, bottom right. So once you get on mine here, you just want to go to asset, click on asset. So here on asset, you want to click on deposit. Okay. So once you click on deposit, it brings you this, uh, uh, wallet address. This is your wallet address. Again, you can scan the code or you can just copy the link. Again, remember the network should be TRC20. Okay. So you are sending, uh, USDT to this wallet address and the network you should use or you must use at all time is TRC20. 20. So just uh, confirm to copy and then you go to your Binance or your exchange. So once you land on your exchange, you want to go to your wallet right here. So you can be on general or you can be on spot is fine. So you already have some USDT here. So you want to click on withdraw. You want to select USDT. Okay. So if you don't see it here by default, you want to search it right here. So now that I have USDT, yes, I want to send through crypto network. Okay. So we land on this page, the network or the address you already copied. You just want to paste that address here. 
okay just like that so so the network should be tron trc20 again there is a one dollars network fee so you want to confirm that so you have your wallet address you have the network next is to determine the amount so the amount like we rightly said you are sending to royal q a total of 140 dollars okay so you would enter 140 dollars again there will be a one dollars network fee so you could just make it 141 dollars so you get exactly on royal q you get exactly uh 140 okay so once you do this uh, you just want to confirm and do your two-factor authentication and then there you go you will have this money sent to royal q so you just want to come back to royal q and go to asset and then your 140 dollars should be sitting here okay so because i have already done it so i am just showing you what you should do okay so the 140 dollars which you just transferred should be sitting on your asset so the next part of this video is for you to activate the robot so because you haven't already activated the robot now do you see this uh, vip this yellow tab right here you are going to see activate right here so when you click on activate you're going to land on this uh window so it is just basically uh telling you or giving you the information that it is an annual fee uh there is an annual fee of 120 dollars so if you agree with this uh if you are good with this you just want to agree with the terms and conditions okay so you agree with the terms and condition and you click on activate in your case it to be activate for for in my case it to be uh, to renew subscription okay so once you click on activate it might take you to a new page what you want to do you just want to go back one step behind and then click again activate and there you go you have successfully activated your rare cure robot a hundred and twenty dollars has been deducted from your asset and now you are left with twenty dollars now you can also see your activation period right here so it is for one year so congratulations now you have successfully uh, subscribed for the rare cure robot so the next part of our video is we are going to be doing the api binding it means connecting our royal queue which we have just subscribed with our exchange so we can start trading so you have made it so far to this part of the tutorials which is api binding congratulations guys api binding is simply connecting our exchange be it binance hobby or coinbase pro to the rare q robot using a secure api okay so this is how to do the api binding you just want to click on more again if you are doing this for binance you could do it on the application but for hobby and for coinbase pro i believe you have to do it on the web browser so for binance users you just want to click on more and scroll right at the bottom of the page you're going to see api binding here you click on api management once you land on this page you just want to give your api a name it can be any name okay in my case i just named my uh api key royal q for live okay so we just want to click on create api so we're gonna do our two-factor security authentication And then you have to do this two factor correctly. Send code to receive. So I've gotten my mobile code. Next, I have to go to my mail to receive their email code as well. And I go back one step, enter that code. So now I have both code inserted. I just want to submit. So we can see that our API has been created. So this is our API here, Royal Q for live. The next and very important thing we want to do is we just want to click edit. 
So once you click edit, it is going to uh, show save, but don't worry. So you just want to scroll down and then click on this little arrow pointing down. Okay, so here you can see two very important things, your secret key and your API key, okay? You want to scroll right at the bottom of the page and then just leave it the way it is. We want to go to Royal Q. Just leave this page the way it is. We go to Royal Q. On Royal Q, you want to be on your mind and then you click on API binding. So the good thing about this is right on Royal Q uh, application, we have tutorials for that. You see top right corner, we have a video that you can watch to do your API binding. Okay, a short video, but I'm just doing it uh, for the sake of this tutorials to be a bit explicit. Okay, so if you would go for Hobby Wallet, there is also a tutorial for you to watch top right corner. If you go for Coinbase Pro, there is also a tutorial top right corner for you to watch. But for my case, for the sake of this tutorial, I am going with Binance. So you are going to land on this page and this is how it should be looking. The first, very first thing you want to do is copy this code right here. I will just click to copy and then go back to Binance. Leave this page the way it is. I'll just go one step to Binance. Remember, we have already clicked on edit. So we should go right at the bottom of the page. And then right here, we just want to click on these uh, restrict access to trusted IPs only. You click on that circle and then it brings you this uh, tab right here. You want to paste that code, which you just copied. You want to paste it right here. And then you just want to confirm. Okay. Once you do that, very good. Next, you just want to make sure that you have these uh, checked. Enable spot and margin trading. So you want to check that. So you see the only authorization we are giving the robot. You just enable reading to read the market. And the second is to enable spot and margin trading. So we don't enable withdrawals so you see that your funds are safe and secured so once you do that you just want to quickly copy their api key and go to royal q paste the api key and go back one step to binance copy their secret key just put your fingers on top now you copy Again, you have to be fast about it because the secret key is only valid. It's only visible for a few minutes. Okay, so if you don't be fast enough, you might have to repeat the process by creating a new API. So you want to go back to Royal Q and paste their secret key. Remember these things you don't have to share with anyone. So this is just a new API I created. I am going to delete it immediately. So once you do this too, very good. Go back to Binance one more step. You just want to screw back up and click on save. Once you click on save, you will have to do your two factor authentication one more time. And that is it. That is all. So you just have to click on save and you have to do your uh, two factor authentication one more time. And that is it for Binance. You just want to go back to Royal Q and then you click here to send to receive a one time OTP code to your registered email. Once you receive that code, enter the code right here. Agree to the terms and condition and click on bind. The moment you click on bind, congratulations, your exchange is successfully connected and binded. It should be in orange. So guys, you have made it so far to this point of this tutorials. Congratulations. You are just one step away to start trading on Royal Q. So let's assume you have verified your Binance or Coinbase Pro or Hobby Wallet. It is verified at least intermediate. Now you have also deposited USDT in your spot wallet, be it Binance, Coinbase Pro or Hobby. Again, you have 
uh, register on Royal Q, download it, and log into your application. You have also done the API binding by connecting your uh, robots to your most preferred exchanges. Congratulations. Now, the next step is to start trading, meaning to sync a strategy, to start copying professional traders on Royal Q and start making money. So the very first thing you will notice is that your available USDT, which is sitting in your spot uh, spot wallet in either exchange, is going to be reflecting here. Now you can also click this little circle here to refresh it. So to just get an idea of how much you have in your exchange to be able to start trading. Now let's talk about syncing a strategy. On Royal Q, we when we go to circle right here, we have uh master traders okay all of these are master traders now these are people who have done trades configurations for you so with just a click of a button you can start trading without having to decide on your own coins to trade your trade settings your trade parameters you don't have to do any of those technical or fundamental analysis nothing is required from you what is required is just have your money in your spot wallet and just a click of a button you can start trading i'm going to be showing you how to do that the very first thing you want to do click on mine bottom right corner real quick now you're gonna see professional edition. Now in your case, it is going to be turned off, okay? So you wanna slide to turn it on. Now, uh, there's gonna be some quiz questions, I think three that you have to answer. Please just click any answer. The one which is green is correct. Now click to submit and there you go, guys. Okay, let's talk about syncing a strategy. Now the very First thing you want to, uh, the very important factor here or the most determining factor is you are a Binance or Hobie or a Coinbase Pro USDT availability in your spot wallet. So that is the most determining factor because it's going to determine uh, which uh, master trader you are going to be copying. It is also going to be determining the amount per coin you are going to be trading. It is also going to be determining the number of coins you are to be trading or you are going to be trading. Now, you can add more money to your spot wallet to increase the number of coins at any time, okay? So, these are the things that you have control over. Again, I'm going to repeat. You are available funds in your spot exchange is going to determine which of the master traders you are going to be copying it's also going to be determining the amount per coin you are going to be trading with it's also going to be determining the number of coins tradable again remember you can start small and at any time you can add more money to your spot wallet in order to increase or add more coins as time goes on. So these are the things you have control over, okay? The things you don't have control over is the coins tradable, the coin selection, because these things are done for you by the master trader. And the last thing you don't have control over is the trade settings. So you see how awesome it is. So with just a click of a button, you can start trading. So this is something everyone can do, even my grandmom. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do, we want to click on circle. Now, we're going to see all these master traders, okay? Now, the one which I always like to recommend, because he does uh, one coin for 55 for $155 is JD Winner. Okay, so you can search JD Winner here at the search bar, right here, JD Winner. Again, if you are not in my mentorship forum on uh, Telegram or on WhatsApp, you want to join one of those uh, mentorship forums. Again, I will make this very clear. Whenever you join any of those mentorship forums, you want to keep your conversations only in their group. Anyone who directly message you, that is not John. John is not going to message you first, okay? So be careful because there are people who have been using my, my name, my picture, and everything, 
and they will pretend as if it is the real John talking and they will lure you into trying to change your email or something else. So please keep your conversations only in the group. Okay, so when you join the group, you might ask, John, who is the best trader for me to copy? Again, you are asking that in reference to your available USDT. Because if I know your, your available USDT, it means your, your trading funds or your trading capital, I can rightly recommend which of the traders you should copy. For the purpose of these uh, tutorials and this example, we are going to take JD Winner. So JD Winner, you can search it on the search bar right here, like we said. Okay, so now that I have JD Winner here, I'm just going to click. Now, once you click, you're going to land in here. Very important. The first thing you want to keep your eyes on is a coin selection metrics. Okay. So once you land here, before you even get access to coin selection metrics, you are going to see apply to join bottom right. It is free to join. Okay. So click to join. Once you join, you can scroll and then you're going to see these, uh, these are uh, picture right here. Uh, again, these provide you with information about the coins and the selection metrics. What we mean by that is that this slide is going to provide you with the following information, how much this trader is doing per coin. So this trader is doing $155 per coin. Now, there is something which we call first buy in amount, which you are going to be seeing very shortly. First buy in amount is $10. Now, there is something which we call number of strategies or number of coins. So the number of coins is one. So it means that if you have $155, now you are going to be doing $10 first buy in amount. It means the first amount that the bot is going to launch the trade with. It will be $10. Now, you can only trade one coin with uh, $155. So let's say you have uh, $1,100. Now, you are going to be doing first buy in of the same $10, but this time you are going to be trading seven coins. So I hope you can see these things very clear. Now, for you to get this coin selection metrics, uh, every trader which you are aiming to, to copy is going to be providing this coin selection metrics. Uh, when you join the Telegram, you can uh, request, John, please, can I get coin selection metrics? of this trader or that trader again uh, you can also get it anytime you uh, browse through the trader uh, uh, chat right here you are going to see it clearly here so let's say you have decided to trade with JD winner and uh, your available USDT is 155. So it means you can only trade one coin. For you to trade more than one coin, just multiply $155 by the total number of coins you want to trade with. And then you find it on this coin selection metrics to know only two things. How much is a first buy-in amount or other amount? and how many coins are spared that capital. So if your capital is $7,000, so your first buy in amount is going to be 15 or $20 and you can trade 30 coins. So that should be understood. Okay, now that you have decided uh, you want to trade with JD Winner. You have already applied to join. Now you want to click on this strategy for JD Winner. Click on these uh, percentage returns right here. Uh, once you click on it, you will get to this tab, guys. See how awesome it is looking. Now the only two things you want to determine is uh, first buy in amount and number of strategy okay again you can browse between binance if you are doing binance or you can browse uh, go to hobby if you want to trade with the hobby exchange or coinbase pro okay so currently he is not offering coinbase pro so he is only doing binance and hobby so this should be understood so i should be on binance so we just want to click on sync strategy 
So once we get on this page, guys, the only two things we want to do here is very simple, okay? The only two things is first buy in amount. Remember, if you have $155, okay, your first buy in amount should be $10. Now, the number of strategies means the number of coins. It means you only have $150. It means you are going to be trading only one coin. Okay, one piece, it means one coin. So these are the only two things you want to determine. And then you just screw right at the bottom. Again, you don't have to enable a synchronous opening double. Okay. So you just want to screw to the bottom and then click on sync strategy. So I hope that is understood. So depending on your trading funds availability. Now you want to determine two things from their coin selection metrics, right? Number one, your first buy in amount and number two, number of coins. And once you enter it here, you just want to screw down and then click on sync strategy. And there you go, guys, you are already trading. You are going to receive some notifications when you go to your uh, quantitative or you go to your news right here. You can click on your news and you are going to see buy orders and buy orders. It means that you are already up and your trades are already running, guys. Congratulations, okay? So you just wanna go to your quantitative tab right here and you are going to school and you are going to be seeing your trades are already running okay so you want to keep an eye on your mine session where you go to mine and asset okay on asset like we said you have twenty dollars still sitting here remember uh, each time the bot closes a trade it means there is profit now from that profit 20 percent fee is deducted but because royal q cannot deduct your money from your exchange it means that they can only deduct that 20 percent from what you have on your asset okay so it means depending on your trading volume it also determines how much fees you are paying okay so uh for no reason should you let this asset go below two dollars if it goes below two dollars your bot is going to stop until you recharge or fund your asset with a minimum of a ten dollars okay so you want to keep an eye and anytime it goes below uh maybe five dollars you know it is time for you to fund your asset up so your bot shouldn't stop you just want to click on deposit like we did earlier and there you go guys so you are already trading on home you are going to see revenue details right here so when you click on revenue details it tells you uh, how much uh, profit you have made for the day remember it is just a reflection of what you have made for the day because your real profit has already been added to your exchange okay so there is nothing like john i have made a profit of two thousand uh, thirty five dollars so how, how can i withdraw this money no because it was already an instantly added back to your exchange every time the bot closes a sale okay so that is it guys i hope you are already trading and uh should you have any concern remember you can always ask when you join my forums remember don't privately chat anyone who pretend it is John talking to you, okay? So you want to talk to John only in the forum, except I have an appointment with you to talk to you uh, uh, in private, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you find some value. Share this video with your teams and uh, don't forget to leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more like this. I hope to see you around soon.